Hello peoples, this is Beta Knights, and welcome to, as I'm sure you can see, my Wii screen! Uh, no, I'm not going to make that lame joke again, I did that for the last few LPs, actually, I think every LP that's been on my Wii. But no, as I'm sure you guys have seen from the title, and as I revealed in the, uh, in my Christmas special video about what my next LP was actually going to be, I would like to welcome you to Let's Play Paper Mario for the N64. Quick note, ignore that. It's not correct. Anyway, a few things I want to say before we actually dive right into this LP per se. Uh, per se. No, I will not need the classic controller. I have my GameCube controller. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, burping already. Uh, anyway, a few things I want to get off the off my chest real quick. One, uh, I did a few little tests, and hopefully it shouldn't be, my microphone shouldn't be doing that stupid thing where it would cut off little pieces of my commentary and my commentary's audio, like it was doing for the last little bit of Skyward Sword. God, that just aggravated me so much, because it, it's like, uh, I don't know, it just bugged me. It's like something like that going wrong right near the end of the game. And it's like there wasn't really much I could do about it. I don't know how I managed to fix it now, but if it does start happening again, which I really hope it doesn't, if the audio does start messing up again, worst case scenario, I may just have to send my new mic in for repairs or get a replacement and have to switch back to my old headset for a little while. Uh, which, either way, the headset had pretty good quality for something that cost as little as it. Um, so... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, now the other thing I would actually like to say, um, a little interesting tidbit about this game, guys. Paper Mario was originally intended to be LP number two. Yes, this was supposed to be the LP that I continued after I came back after the whole crap happened with my laptop and everything with Pokemon White. So I was never originally meant to LP Metroid Prime, at least not when I did. This was my original planned LP for many months, or not many months, but for a decent amount of time before I actually started it, it was planned that I was going to be doing Paper Mario. And it was literally a last minute decision, like I think like half a week to a week before I actually started Metroid Prime, I was still set to do Paper Mario, and it wasn't until just like a couple days before I started the LP that I actually planned to switch over to... Paper Mario. But anyway guys, that is enough. I've been talking way too long. How about we dive straight into this amazing game? Now, I will say one thing. I am not as familiar with this game as I am with the second Paper Mario, because that's the one I played first and I beat it probably like three or four times before I even played this one. Before, Because I, I first played this one when I got it on Virtual Console here. So I'm, I may be a little awkward in some points, uh, but I have beat this game. Sadly, as you can see here, my old files got deleted, which really bums me out. I was like right near the end in one of them. I was like in the last chapter. But anyway, God, stop. Shut up. Stop talking. Okay, right here. Beta. This thing says level one. It already has some playtime. That was just a little file that I was using uh, just to kind of re-familiarize myself with the beginning just so I kind of knew what was coming. Uh, well, let's jump right in, guys. And I guess we'll name this the... Uh, Actually, you know what? No. The final thing I wanted to say before I started this is, guys, I would like to take this time to dedicate this LP to my best friend, Kitsune Akane, as you guys know her, or Kim, as you would also know her if you watched my Minecraft videos that I did with her. Uh, but if you guys were paying attention, you, you would have noticed that my nickname for her ever since I've known her practically has been Wolfie, so seeing as how the name of the file affects, does not affect the game itself, like it's not like Legend of Zelda where people will start calling me whatever name I put, so as you can see I have Yoshi for these because Yoshi is my favorite Mario character, I think this will be a nice little way to kind of commemorate this LP to her. But let's dive right in, god fuck, really five minutes into the video, I'm sorry guys, I know I suck at this, <laughs> I know my LPs have a habit of being slow, but I got a Paracoupa here. Mail call! 
I don't know what voice I gave him, don't ask. <laughs> hey, it's Luigi. Hi, Luigi. He's got my mail. He's got my mail. Give me my mail. Hey, Mario. We got a letter from Princess Peach. Oh, she baked me another cake? <laughs> I have to come to the castle and everything goes to hell? I'll read it to you, okay? Yes, because Mario does not know how to read in this game, apparently. Alright, let's see. I think Luigi's voice is the one voice I can actually do decently. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. They told you she was baking me a cake. I knew it! I knew it! <coughs> uh, sorry. I apologize if I cough from time to time, guys. Like I said, my cough has basically gone away, but it's still like, little remnants of it are still lingering behind. Uh, I'm not sick anymore, at least, so that's a good sign. But anyway, apparently our the pipe in our front yard leads straight into town. Town full of toads. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say this toad town. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we head off to Peach's Castle. Looks very nice in this game, I have to admit, it does look very pretty. And it, it kind of looks like they did a little thing for Super Mario 64 here, like trying to kind of be like, hey look, this kind of looks like Super Mario 64. I don't know where I was going with that. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. I apologize to any Italian people for the fact that I am trying to mimic a voice of your people. Mario, Mario, you're not looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? Wow, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. These are all toads. Maybe you can hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? And we have a guard toad over here, apparently. Welcome to, welcome to Peach's Castle! Okay, I'm probably not gonna do, try and do the toad voices from Super Mario Sunshine. I really suck at them. What's this icky paint like goop? It's moving! It's about the only part I can do. Hey, er, Mario. I hope you brought an appetite. There's so much good food here. I already ate way too much. I'm taking a little breather. Well, that's enough of a rest. I'm hungry again. Let's eat! To the buffet table! S sounds like me. Hey, we got the smart dude here. I forgot his name. Ah, salutations, Mario. Do you know Frosty here? He's come all the way from the Shiva region, which lies far to the north of here. Ah, huh, Frosty, huh? Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiva region someday. Okay, uh, there's not really a whole reason to talk to everyone here. I'm just kind of showing off little things. Oh, welcome, Mario. Last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Oh. Seems like I'm keeping her waiting, I don't want to keep her waiting too long. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. Hee hee hee, how cute. Oh, Princess Peach has a crush on a little fat plumber, apparently. <gasps> Penguin! Penguin! Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish you could stay here at Peach's castle forever. Yeah. Okay, enough talking to the dialogue. As you guys can see, the first episode or two of this is gonna start off fairly slow, but I promise you it will pick up a lot later on. And I don't mean really later, but... Greetings, Mario! I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. So basically your toad's working in this game. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. And that's when everything usually starts going to shit. I came from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous. So cool and comfortable. I even got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Okay, I kind of like the voice I gave him. I'm a nomad mouse, and I come from Dry Dry Desert. Everyone I've met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. I'm uh, just trying to talk to the kind of different people here. Strange that there's only one Koopa here. I come from Koopa Village, which is just down the road from here. Oh, I just had the honor of talking with Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is. Hot. Why am I, why am I giving everyone slightly British accents where they can't pronounce R's? I'm here on behalf of, of lovely Shiva City. I'm the mayor there, you know? 
My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frosty. Okay, so we got a mayor here. I guess that's someone important. What is this, Peach's room? This is Peach's Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in at the moment. Uh, of course. Besides, I doubt they let me in alone with her, even if she was in, but... Anyway, guys, enough dilly-dallying. Let's head up here. I, I'm just a trainee, sir. So many guests. My heart's been beating like a bass drum ever since this morning. Thump, 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 thump. Panicking much? Anyway, let's head up these stairs. It's very nice. I got the music side effects. Ooh, that's some nice couches. Hey, princess. Come over and sit here with me, huh? Ah, enough of that. Anyway, guys, come in here, and I wonder who we'll be seeing. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you, heart. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring, greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Oh, sounds like something's going on. See, nobody will bother us here. She wants something. Just the two of us. That just makes me think of Zelda asking to go flying. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Sure, I would. And just as I predicted earlier, this is where everything starts to go to shit. <laughs> Look at them awesome graphics of trees falling. What the hell? Peach, what's with all the spikes? You have some weird underground fetish I don't know about. Oh, jeez. Yep, she definitely likes spikes. <laughs> now, guys, in case you didn't realize by now, <laughs> oh yeah, look at Mario with his hands. He's doing the goof troop thing. Now, if you haven't realized, Bowser has basically just abducted the castle itself, and I have to admit, his castle looks pretty damn awesome in this game. I really like how it looks. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. We just noticed that. Oh, Jesus. Be careful when flying through windows. Wahahaha! <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach! Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Wahahaha! <laughs> yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. We're expecting that, huh? God, I... Dang it, Luca Jin. I can't think of Bowser without an Australian accent. You guys... You are lucky I can't do an Australian accent for crap. Ha, <coughs> oh, this castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Obey me. Actually, I think this castle's above your control, seeing as how it's on top of your castle. Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. Ha, huh, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I have had my problems in the past, but this time it's different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Y'all look at Bowser doing like the rocking thing. He's like freaking headbanging. Mario, you can do it. Let's go. And so we get our basic jump command in this. Basically, pick a name. Now, I'll say this right off the bat. The beginning portion of this game, the battle seemed very scripted, and basically it's like... See, I mean, the same thing's happening each turn. There's nothing I can do to really alter what's happening at this point. I mean, I have no other options. It won't let me choose those other options I have anyway. At least not yet. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. So I have the Star Rod, because I'm from Kirby. I just said Kirby? Take a look at this. Look at what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod, again from Kirby. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Oh no. What is he doing? What's he gonna do? It's Rainbow Bowser! Headbanging Rainbow Bowser! Whoa! How do you like that, Mario? You're glowing. Oh no, this is, this is the end! 
And he does a whopping two extra damage. But on another note, I can't do crap to him. Whoa! Is that all you've got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. No. Not much we can do here, guys. Could this be the end of Mario? Could Bowser have finally won? Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even wor worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night! Whoa, 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 wait, dude. She's kind of near your fire. No, she is engulfed in your fire. Mario, learn from Peach. Apparently, covering your face with your hands completely makes you immune to any fire going by you. Oh, no. Mario, get up. Headbanging Bowser. That's going to be like a running thing in this. Instead of Bowser's arms, it's going to be headbanging Bowser. Yes. Oh, yeah, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival, Mario. Yes. That's very nice to everything you have there. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star on, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. And zappity crap, out the window we go. Zappity crap, it's gotta be new. Oh no! Mario! Nom 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 nom. And as we gently float and waft down through the air, cause God knows we can do that in this game without completely dying. We float down through the clouds. And this is where our true adventure begins. Yeah guys, prologue, a plea from the stars. And we get some nice little music added in at the end. But guys, I think we will actually take this opportunity to end the episode off here. Kind of at a strange start, but yeah, you thought that whole first part we went through was the prologue? No! You're wrong. Anyway guys, I think we will be ending off this first episode here. It's gone on way too long and not enough has happened. I probably could have gotten a lot more done if I wasn't so talkative in the beginning, sorry about that. But I promise from this point on, these episodes will be picking up a lot more. So guys, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner, big yellow button, give me good 5 star reviews, down below this video. Alright, I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye guys.